YouTuber, I guess they are, or Instagram, whatever, and she just videos herself eating. And they just watch her eat, and she just gets into it. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> uh, millions of millions and millions, and like <laughs> millions of people like watching this girl eat. <laughs> She talks while she eats and just, uh, I guess, it's pretty funny. <clears throat> All right. There's one more drop in there. Let's see if we can get it. I just don't get tired of these. It's been almost 15 years. I never got tired of ice cream before, before isogenics. Right. I mean, it seems kind of strange when you think about, like, people think, oh, he's just overstating it or exaggerating or um, has an agenda. I, of course, I always have an agenda. Everybody has an agenda. Everybody's trying to sell something, whether they get money for it or not. Everybody's trying to sell their opinions. Their, isn't it uh, Earl Nightingale that says that in The Strangest Secret or something? I know I've heard it. People are always trying to sell something. Opinions, ideas. Some people are trying to sell fear. You know, there's just all kinds of things out there. I love that song. If you're wondering who that was, Francesca Bastelli, I think is how you say it. Let's just see here. It's a great book or a great uh, al al album, Giants Fall. Uh, and that was the song, Giants Fall. If we're honest, is the, uh, the the title of the album, Francesca Battistelli, Battist B A T T I S T E L L I. And I love listening to that. The whole, every song on that whole al album is good. I'm gonna say records, CD. Every song on that CD is awesome. Uh, you know, I talk about. The, Giants falling. Hang on one sec. Uh, it talks about this the giants falling, and uh, you know, with God, anything is possible. It states in the song, and but I want to add to that, especially in this group, and that is, um, if we do our part, if we do our part, anything is possible for sure. And uh, <clears throat> if you're not muted out. Make sure you're muted out um, if you have some background noise. Uh, anything is possible in any circumstance. It's like, oh, but not in this circumstance, it's not possible. Or not in what I'm going through. It's, it's possible in everything except, <laughs> that's, that's a lie, you guys. In every circumstance and in every situation, anything is possible. Uh, with God, anything. He's the ultimate supreme. But we have to do our part. Yeah, there's a big but. We have to do our part. Always, always, always. It's a collaboration. Some people call it a dance. And it's immutable. We have to, I could say we have to exercise our faith, but what is faith? Wallace Waddles is teaching us what faith is and how we can increase it incrementally on our part, not something that we have to leave to somebody else to do for us. So many people's prayers go unanswered. Uh, Raymond Hollywell, great book. So many people's prayers go unanswered because they don't do their part. They miss that class and they don't make it a priority to find out. They, you know, they're not opening themselves up to the information, just when the student's ready, the teacher always appears. But if we resist those things that come up, which you guys are not, you're here, you showed up this morning, you're open. And um, so I like the little emojis, those are so awesome. Um, all right, so, uh, you know, this template that we've been doing goes so hand in hand with what this book is teaching and this vehicle that we have. The template, is so key and i don't know if uh <clears throat> well first i want to uh, i want to see if uh, i can come back to 
Casey Plouffe if, if she's on. But first, I want to recognize uh, Willie and Digna Morris for uh, hitting two star yesterday. They hit two star yesterday, you guys. Yeah. Um, yeah, baby. Ha! That's right. That's right. And I appreciate, <laughs> I can appreciate what Willie said in one of the comments on the post. Uh, you know, people congratulating. I went down, I read every single one of them. Um, and, and Willie's response was, you know, the, the template. Part of that, you know, re reply, in one of the replies, there's dynamics to it, right? There's the personal factor. There's always the personal factor. Write that down, the personal factor. Um, but if you don't have the right personal factor, you're going to be limited if you're missing some key elements. And, and it's so important, you know, that we fill in the gaps. And that's really what we're doing here on this with the template and with this Monday morning Zoom uh, and, and getting the information to fill in those gaps that are missing. And I know that Willie and his team, a certain percentage, I, I know it's not always everybody. I know it's not always everybody. But there's a certain percentage of people who are taking that template serious and it's now becoming a daily part of their regimen. It's becoming a daily part of their income producing activities, their daily methods of operation. And uh, look how fast it happens. What did we start the template in early January? And then it started morphing and becoming more and more clear and, and you know, revealing uh, by the end of January, beginning of February. And look how fast the universe loves to work with speed, progress, progress, progress. But if we're not doing our part, we'll see progress in other areas in other ways. Um, but it's just so key that first state, first cause. Willie is at two star because him and Digna took the template seriously and they took the time and effort and energy to introduce it to their team. Jojo, I mean, it was like a huge week this last week for us, right? Like we're seeing growth and progress in this time when anything is possible. No matter what's going on around you, what you focus on grows. And we're seeing an increase in progress in the entire organization because there's a certain percentage of people who are making the template a priority. And it doesn't matter what's going on in the stock market. It doesn't matter what's going on anywhere. You stay focused and you stay focused on the objective. You're gonna to continue to see growth and miracles happening. Um, so I want to give, I don't know if Willie is in a, in a position where he can share his thoughts and, you know, um, applying these things that we talk about on this Zoom and, uh, you know, what the template's doing and, and what they're focusing on. And he set the goal, you guys, and, and, and Willie, share a little bit about that, about how, yeah, when you said it, it made you nervous, right? When you said, I'm hitting two star this week. And you announced that to the group. And uh, you did it, brother. <laughs> awesome job. Yeah, awesome. Dave, can you hear me good? Yeah. I'm trying to find a good spot in my brother's house. <laughs> so, but uh, it's, it's really cool. My, you know, my younger brother is here. He's listening. He's listening in. And, uh, and he's, like, he's like, oh, wow, Dave does this call every Monday morning, you know, something like that. And I was like, yeah. And, and you know, and then he just, he was like, and he was just like, wow, it's really awesome that, you know, that, that you connected with him. You know what I mean? Like, he, he was listening to what you were saying, and he just, he could, you know, he could appreciate it, you know. And, uh, you know, and then Digna came downstairs, and she's like, you know, she's listening into the call, you know. And so we plug in you know, we, we, we plug in and, and um, yeah, I, I like, I like to be honest as far as, you know, transparent is probably a better word. Like, yeah, when I said it, I was like, cause I, I just said it, it was on my heart and it was on my mind. It was, it was, it was true. What I, you know, one of the goals that we have and um, I can't remember which call it was during the week, but mm -hmm. I was like, I'm, I'm going to do it. You know, we're going to do it, you know, and it's, and it's what Eric Worre instilled in us. You know, you tell the world, and they, no, he said, you leap, you tell the world, tell the world, leap, you know, and then you figure it out, you know, and then you figure it out. And, um, 
and it was just it was just everything we saw everything align in our in our favor you know um as far as production was concerned with and like you said with everything all the distractions and i had to tighten up a little bit this week um in all transparency also you know for me personally in the morning i it was like muscle it was like discipline just making sure that in the morning you know i wasn't gonna hear anything about any kind of virus or stock market or nothing i would reserve my first hour to to feed my spirit and it and it was it was tempting because in the morning you know i would get messages from people like oh my god did you see this happen did you see i won't touch them i won't touch them and then it, just, it was just a decision now digna's already kind of good with that but, and I don't know if she, you know, maybe later on, I don't know if she's in a place to add to that, but she's usually good with that. Now that, you know, she's been home, working from home, she has that time reserved. But I know that this scenario was, you know, kind of calling her attention like everybody and everybody should. The other side of the coin is some people are not paying attention. And so we did pay enough attention and then we made a decision that we were gonna stay laser focused, you know, and keep doing what we, I, I think it was, I think it was Jessica Nieves and even Charmaine um, in, our, in our organization, um, so many positive contributions. And one of them said, keep doing what you said you were gonna do. Not to me, just to our team. They said, no matter what's happening with this thing, pay attention, do what you need to do with your family but do not stop doing what you said you were going to do, you know, cause it's so easy to get distracted. And then what happens? It's like worry, you know, um, the, the book, um, how to win friends, uh, and influence people by Dale Carnegie. And he said, you know, how much time, you know, do people spend worrying about things that most of them don't even happen? You know, so you think about all that time and all that accomplishment and all that energy that gets wasted you know, and cause there's things and, and anybody that, you know, that I speak with often, you'll hear me say, there's things that we can control and there's things we can't. I choose to put the majority of my effort towards the things that I can't control. It is a choice, you know, and worrying is just too easy. And, you know, it'll take us right down wherever the heck it wants to take us. And we do have a choice. We do have a choice. And, and that, I believe that that's one of our God given gifts, you know, this, this, you know, free will, and it's a choice and it is a decision. So, I mean, we just, you know, we saw these things happening. We made the decision and it wasn't, it wasn't a smooth, you know, you know, go for the week, but things just started to align and right in front of our eyes, it was just like, boom, 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 boom. We were like, holy cow. And it was, it, it was a very awkward week, Dave. I mean, we, on, on Thursday, we got up in the morning and, and we drove 10 hours. Actually, it was 11 hours. Um, so we're driving, and that was on Thursday. But we, you know, still kept working and stuff. And then we came here. We're in my brother's house. And, you know, he doesn't have a huge house, you know. Um, but we made the accommodations and the Wi-Fi is being overloaded because there's people. That, I mean, it's like so many things, you know. We, we had to drive like almost an hour to go to a coffee shop. You know, it's like it's, it's so many things but you just gotta be willing to do it. And, and I'll end it with this. And, and then this morning, um, usually on Mondays, you know, Digna and I traditionally will kind of take it easy. We cleanse on Mondays. We still do what we need to do, but we breathe on Mondays, right? Just now, just now, uh, my sister-in-law, she's a, she's a, check this out, Dave. She's a hygienist and her name is Kathy, right? <laughs> so we were telling her about Kathy Coover, you know? That's a good combination. Yeah, so yeah, 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 right. So she's like, does she spell it with a K? I'm like, yes. And she's like, oh my God. You know? so, she's like, so, so she's at work right now and she calls us and she's like, our, our office is, is like a ghost town and the dentist is here and she wants to hear about isogenics, but she'd love for you guys to come in. We popped out of the bed. Digna's getting ready right now. I'm gonna get brushed. This is, you know, this is our rest day, but you know, the the door opened and we're gone. You know, we're going. We're gonna we're gonna go. And we're gonna show up. So, you know, we're just we're grateful to you. 
you know, we're grateful to Isogenics. We're grateful to the Forever Pack community. You know, just, just uh, there's so much to be grateful for. And like you said last week, and may have said over and over and over again, when there's, you know, when great challenges come, there's also equal or greater opportunities, you know? And I believe that. I, I, I witnessed that during 9-11, during 9-11. When 9-11, I was thinking about that when you said that, because when 9-11 hit, both Digna and I were working in Manhattan, and we both showed up to work the next day, you know? And, and it was a very eerie, but I also experienced the, 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 the love of people in, um, uh, let me see what happened here. Uh, You're fine, we can still hear you. Okay, okay, how about now? Yeah, we, yeah, we can still hear you. Okay, cool. Yeah, there was a call coming in. I didn't. I couldn't figure out how to shut yeah, it off. Yeah, video went But off. yeah, we saw. Yeah, you're good. Oh, okay. We, but we saw that, you know, and it made me think of this moment, you know, when these challenges come, and then we have an opportunity to rise and and really love the way that we could, and maybe some would say should, you know. So, but um, but I'm grateful, Dave. Digna is grateful. The team is grateful. We're excited, and 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 this will be. You know, this is even a greater opportunity this week. You know, we're just gonna we're gonna continue to step up. Yeah. No, so thank you. Uh, congratulations. Does Digna want to share anything? Is she in a place where she can, or maybe she's with the kids? I, I think she's getting ready right now. Yeah, she might. Okay. She might. You know, maybe by the end of the call, she could pop in for a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, man. Willie, really, well, I wanted to congratulate you on speaking classic Wallace Waddles right out of the gate. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, Wallace Waddles yeah. in his book, yeah. The Science of Being Well, recommends you not read medical books, okay? He said, don't concern yourself with sickness, don't concern yourself with illness, okay? Because your mind takes that over. And, you know, maybe you think, I, I lived with a, a medical resident when I was going through engineering school, and he talked about uh, the medical students who would think they had muscular dystrophy because they were reading about it, right? You know, they would immerse themselves in disease in the sickness industry, and then they would start thinking they're sick, okay? And some of them would get sick. You know, it's weird. And, and what you're saying is, with, with the corona thing, okay, don't turn on the TV and marinate in that BS, because it, most of it is BS, okay? There, there's, there's a little bit of threat, but they're blowing it up into a huge, you know, political weirdness that we don't want to be part of, okay? And, and you know, the, the thing is, the person that, that is practicing controlling their thoughts begins to see things that other, other things don't see. And of course, what you're seeing is tremendous opportunity. Okay, people are focused on health and they're focused on how the heck am I going to make money if I can't work at home, right? Well, guess what? <laughs> we teach people how to work at home, building, helping them build other people build their immune systems. How, how perfect is that? That's the greatest opportunity in the history of network marketing right now has just appeared to us. Okay, well, what are we going to do? Watch TV and marinate and all this? No. We're gonna focus our minds. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, just uh, so uh, huge congrats. <coughs> huge congratulations, you guys. Huge, huge, huge congratulations. And to you and the team, we know it's a team effort to do that, but you're leading out in front. You're not driving from behind, you're leading out in front. And uh, it's obvious. That's, do you guys recognize that about them? And and how they're always wanting to say something. And when they say something, they're saying something that is edifying, inspiring. Have you noticed that about Willie and Digna? When they say things, it's not asking questions. It's not, you know, doubt that's in their voice. They're leading out in front because the time, effort, and energy they put into their own personality and character, you know, and, that, and that's what... Sterling W. Still, still says, a little investment in your personality and character will return a million fold. And they just keep doing that. They keep pouring into themselves first 
and then letting the residual fall on everybody else. And because they're working on themselves and they internalize it, what they say has value because it's what they're finding works for them. It's working for them and they don't have to question it. That's why you can speak with confidence because it's working and nobody can tell you otherwise because you're experiencing it. Other people will say, well, I don't know. And you're like, well, whatever. You're not, you're not like, you're not influencing me. If you, if you want to resist what we're sharing, that's fine, but you're not going to sway me. And so whenever somebody like that speaks, there's going to be something that comes out of them that's going to be a value. And it's because they discovered it for themselves. And they're not going to, you know, you're not going to change, somebody's not going to change them and come up and say, well, you know, that template thing or what, the way you're leading your team or the way you talk to people or the way you're calling your list, the way you talk about your list isn't quite right that isn't going to affect them at all, you know? So it'll be like water off a duck's back. And, and so just recognize that, that when you're doing this, you're doing it for you and you're going to apply it for you, not learning it. So you can check in to see how other people are using it or seeing as, Oh, is it really real? I don't see other people quite using it the way that Dave's talking about or the way that Willie's talking about or JoJo's talking about, or Malcolm's talking about, or John's talking about it. And you're just kind of checking it out to see how it's working for other people. You guys, you do this for you and you jump in and you go. And then that builds that confidence and that, that understanding and that certainty that changes you. And uh, you know that's the foundation you wanna build on. Don't be checking in with other people to see if this stuff is working. Man, if you want that, then you just got proof positive right there. They hit two star. In what some people might say, you know, the greatest disruptor in this, you know, last 50 years for sure. Maybe even beyond. You know, so 100 years. And yet, it's just like, uh, uh, I think it's in the science of getting, or in, uh, Think and grow rich, or it might be the strangest secret, one of those, where he says, during the depression, other people thrived. Why? Because they stayed focused. They stayed focused on the objective. During the worst depression, you know, and, and so we have that opportunity right now. I'm telling you, the giants will fall. Anything is possible. Miracles are going to be happening all around you, but you have to do your part. You have to do your part, and we're learning what that is, and we're applying it. Use your template. Your template should be your guide. Your template should totally be your guide. And some people have already abandoned their template. Some people have gone through the template. It hasn't even been a couple months and some people have abandoned it. They've set it to the side. Now it's getting shuffled under their other stacks of paper, other books, who knows what. Their mail and uh, they've abandoned their template. Hey, so, hey Dave, I, I think Hey, Dave, just, just two seconds. Um, I think, um, could you turn off the volume for you? Um, yeah, because you're going to give a feedback. Um, th this is a great example listening to you. It's the positioning of our sales. The positioning of our sales. So I remember in 2008, and we were, you know, really huckled, we, we hunkered down on, Jim Rohn's um, philosophy that the winds of life blow the same on everybody, but it's the positioning of the sales that make the difference. And so I, I realized more than ever. So a lot of people will say like, you know, lately people say, oh, well, the economy's bad. Well, I say, well, it might depend not, not only the positioning of your sales, but where you're standing, where you're standing, how you're positioning yourself. Because, because obviously there's people right now during this economy during the 2008 crash or whatever, you know, that prospered, that, that excelled, that, you know, like got ahead. And so their mindset, their mindset made all the difference in the world. So all the same things happen to, to all of us, but the positioning of our sales. So if for whatever it's worth and forever, who's, you know, you know, um, who's ever looking for that edge, you know, it really, it, it, it happens inside of us. There, there really is no great secret, you know, like, you know, um, as far as the words and the strategy, whatever, there's different strategies 
there's different things that work. Those, those are strategies, those are tools, but, but on the inside, how we perceive things, how we choose. And you, you know, uh, that's a big word for me because I believe we have a choice, you know, without a shadow of a doubt and how we choose. And sometimes it's just going to be easier, you know, for others at different times, but that, that, but just remember that anything that somebody else is accomplishing is, is, means that it's available, that it's possible. And when we buck, you know, bunker down, you know, and get laser focused and, you know, there's so many things, there's so many variables, but when you get laser focused on why you want to do something, you start to align spiritually, start getting your mind right, you know, and make that a priority. Like Jim Rohn says, and I think it's, um, what's her name? El, um, Emily, uh, Barbara, uh-huh. e- Emily constantly says, yeah. You know, and we learned it from Eric Worre many years ago. Your number one prospect is yourself. You got to make sure that you are in the, are you showing up in, in your best mindset? I, I have a habit, right? It's natural for me that if I'm going to prospect, you know, I mean, sometimes people think I'm joking around, but I'll do, I'll do jumping jacks. I'll listen to music. I'll pray. I got to make sure, I got to make sure 1000% that my state is in, in a high, you know, um, frequency. It has to be. And when, and it's like working out, you know, it's like work. I learned this a while ago. It's like working out. When, when I feel that frequency going low, I stop calling people. I take a break. I go drink water. I go for a walk. I play with my kids. I hang out with my wife. I'll have a conversation about something completely different from business. So I'll just relax. And then, and then if I feel good enough, I'll, I'll pick that energy back up. So I, cause I know that I'm the differentiator. I know that I'm the differentiator. You know, what, what I bring to the universe, what I bring to the plate is going to determine the outcomes that, that I'm going to receive. And then these last th- three words too was um, Jim Rohn said, we can have more because we can become more. So it's about being, doing, and having those three things. I focus on being and being is first. And a lot of people, I think our society got it twisted and think that we think that once I have a certain amount of things, I will become a certain thing and I'll be able to do some things. But that is twisted. That, that, is, that is corrupted. It is about being, number one. It is truly about us. That's, that's the secret of success. So I know Digna is getting ready and, and I'm going to pass the phone over to her and then I'm, I'm going to start getting ready. We got to go meet with a dentist. So I'll try to do my best to listen in for the rest of the call, but I'll, I'll put I'll put the boss lady on on uh, on, on the phone. <laughs> awesome, awesome words. Hey, can I introduce Digna? I've got something. Yes, to say. hold on one second. John wants to introduce you, Digna. Oh yes, yes, yes. Okay. Hey, hey. Um, everybody knows Digna Willie's better half, best partner ever. Just. Uh, you guys are knocking it out of the park. It's so amazing to hear your words of wisdom. But a lot of people may not know this, but although Willie and Digma had, Digma had 10 cycles also, Willie and Digma together have 30 cycles between them. Woo-hoo! Congratulations on consistency. <laughs> That's amazing. You guys just are incredible. So I just want to make sure that you got a lot of credit because you have your own huge executive director and it's just amazing to see that congratulations thank you thank you john and, and what do you say i'm getting ready this is how i get ready this first <laughs> this is second and then my ionics I, that's how i get ready in the morning and then i and people okay. drinking coffee i'm drinking my my stuff, my juice. So um, good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for those kind words. And uh, Willie and I were up to, of course, midnight on Sunday, you know, just last minute. And, and one of the things is, you know, on the phone without leaders, you know, Gustavo, you're going to hit five cycles. You need this many points. Let's go. Who can we call with you? Who can we get on the phone to, to order a product? Uh, you know, Guillermo, you got this many, this many, Charmaine, and we always looking down uh, to the organization to see who, who needs points, who, 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 you know, who's about to hit, to make money. Let's get someone else a paycheck. 
and our paychecks come automatically, you know, and, and our promotions get here because the team is making money. And, and Willie loves to put promotions with the team and, and do something special, you know. And, and one of the things, and, I, and I'm going to share this with you guys, one of, the th one of the messages that Willie and I put out on Saturday that I realized how powerful our products are. You know, people are desperate looking for food. And I took a canister of, of Isoline and I, and I share a video with the group and I'm like, guys, there's 15 me uh, 14 meals in this canister right here of the best nutrition your body can have in this time, 15. And you can order this through your back office. It's gonna come to your front door. You don't have to go online. You don't have to go crazy with these people. Order enough for six months. You know, order 10, order 12, just get this in your house. And your entire family, including babies, could take this. If there's nothing else out there and you have Isoline, you're in good shape. You're good. And, and that's, that's the beauty of our business. And that's what fire, fires me up, you know, to, to be on the phone with someone and talk about this business. We, we, some people came on board this weekend that have been customer for a while. They, they are business partners in our financial, uh, you know, thing that we do our other industry and and they've seen what's happening when i sit down with someone to do a budget and the person says oh no my isogenics products i would never stop buying those and they're like oh my god they were like they really like i said yeah and you should like them too and they and what and and he became a consultant this weekend and i was like wow that that's just testament of what we're doing and and again this is the best time and I'm so in love with this company, with this industry, with the opportunity to help other people. And then seeing people like my sister-in-law, she, she's an awesome lady. She's a dentist hygienist for 14 years. She works so hard and she, and she see us doing things and she's like, oh my God, I, I don't have the courage. I want to do it. But you know, yesterday her and I was sitting here and I was doing my thing and she's with me and she's asking me questions. Come to see that she's testing her best friend in Florida to try the products. Come to see this morning, she wakes me up to come to the office to do a presentation, like Willie and I to come to the, to the office to, to present to the dentist, because she's like, I want them to hear about your products. I want, because she loves the product. She, they use the product since we started and they seen that the results. So, but, but again, I want to go back for a minute to the template because to me, that has been my, my, my thing. You know, Willie knows I do not go to bed. I do not wake up. I do it in the middle of the day. I have a lot, three alarms on my phone that goes off in the morning at 12 noon and before bedtime that said that I have to look at my template and I have to listen to my audio. And I do that and my dream is there and things are aligning and happening because that's happening. But not only me, I'm, I'm doing that same thing with my Spanish team. And they sending me audios of themselves recorded, you know, writing out their goals and dreams and, and you know, how they accomplish these things. And, and that's what it takes. So sharing with others. We're in a great spot. We're in a great place. There's a lot of confusion out there. There's a lot of craziness. But there's also, there's also a lot of hope. This is a great time for our industry. This is a great time to show a, a mother how to stay home and make an extra $300 a week or an extra thousand dollars a week. This is the time for us network marketers and professionals to step in, step out, and just put your fears to the side, and talk to everyone you know, because they all need our products and they all need this opportunity. I'm just fired up and we are on our way. This is a baby step to the huge step that we want to accomplish in 2020. Dave and I cannot thank you enough for being such a great mentor and Malcolm and John, you guys are awesome people and we just love this community. Everyone in this community is just beautiful people. Thank you. And God bless um, everyone. Thank you. So Digna, Digna, I've got a question. Yes, Let sir. me make sure I've got this straight because this is very important guys, okay? I've been a professional network marketer for 32 years. I have had no other source of income, only network marketing, okay? Digna just said something. I want to ask, I want to make sure that you guys don't miss this. Digna, you said you set three alarms on your phone for to review your template. Is that correct? That is correct. Three alarms. My phone goes off 
and the alarm is, oh, there it goes. They go, you got to get the spot somewhere. Go, go review your goals. <laughs> and it's your priority, right? You stop whatever it is you're doing or finish up with whatever you're doing expeditiously so you can get to that right away, right? Absolutely. Exactly what I did to get to, you know, where I, you know, when I quit my job, that's exactly how I treated it. It was just like that. It was the priority. The alarm went off. I dropped whatever I was doing and uh, it was, it was basically, that was it. And, uh, and, and so do you guys see something though? She's talking about a lot of action steps that she and Willie have taken. Right now they're going into action. The thing showed up, that's how the law of attraction works. They're going to a meeting, that showed up in their life. Guillermo being almost at five cycles, that showed up in their life. So what do they do? They act on it. Have you noticed that? See, somebody looking from the outside would think, oh, it's all their actions and it's their skill set. That, I'm going to use it. That's BS. It is not. It's that they are holding the right mindset while they're getting into the actions. And it's that mindset that has attracted these certain scenarios and circumstances to play out the way they did. And when we talk about being able to move mountains, they move mountains to get to two star. That wasn't an easy thing. It's not like every week they've been right on the cusp of almost hitting two star by, you know, being a cycle or two away. That's not the case. That they moved a mountain, but it was their mindset while they were getting into the actions. And that's what's in alignment here. You've got to do both. You've got to do both. And let's see, let me, where's my, I'm going to pull up the, uh, iPad here. And Dave, did you notice how animated Digna got when she talked about her group? Okay. When she talked about, uh, uh, who was it? Gustavo, you're near five cycles. So she's, she's looking into her group. She's seeing the potential and she's visualizing what could happen for that person. And then making a wake up call and saying, Gustavo, you're so close to five cycles. Oh my God, there's a bonus. You've got, what, what can we do to, to call a few more people? See, people just, they don't know the potential. And, and so we're projecting that with people, okay? And, and uh, uh, last, uh, last call, it was, um, uh, who's the guy from Seattle uh, uh, that- uh, Guillermo. Guillermo, right? Okay, now, when I think of Guillermo, I think, okay, this is a military guy. You teach a military guy to do uh, a, a procedure, right? The military is all about uh, changing rituals, okay? So a military guy, you teach him a new ritual, they stay with it. They're disciplined, okay? And, and, uh, and it's so important to be able to see the potential in people and, 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 and then project a vision of what they can do. And, and, and letting them know, I believe in you. You know, Angela was saying over and over again, you and Dave are really, you're, you're focusing on me, right? You're, 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 uh, you're, you, you believe in me, you know? That's so important for a new person, to believe in them and see that potential and project that vision. That's, that's what the template's about. We're helping people project vision. Yeah, this is uh, good. This is incredible stuff. This is like all, everything, just well said, amazing truths, truth bombs all over the place. Mic drops all over the place here, you guys. Um, so now, did you notice though, Willie and Digna? I'm going to say, and they've already said it, but I'm going to say it and reiterate it and drive it home for you guys. Okay, we're done celebrating. What's next? What's next? They already know that this is just a stepping stone in this template. They're somewhere around here. They're not here yet. That I am a high fourth level leader with platinum income earners on both teams, making over you know uh, forty thousand a month in our downline freedom in their lives. Okay, they they know that that's the ultimate goal. Them getting to platinum and then having platinum income earners in their team. Two star is not the ultimate celebration. Yeah, we're gonna recognize it, but it's like, all right, what's next? And, and so you see the mindset here. Um, there's just this drive and this internal you know, drive and motivation 
that comes from framing up the right mindset. So, uh, so what's next? Let's get into this. Congratulations, you guys. I'm so excited, so grateful for you guys, and you're leading the way, and you're making an impact in the world. You have a purpose-driven life. You're waking up in the morning. You're ready to go. That's an exciting, that, that's self-actualization at its finest. Enthusiasm, joy, impact, as you're going up that ladder of self-actualization, you're bringing other people along with you, and that's exciting. And so now let's shift to, to, to the science of getting rich. How we do anything is how we do everything. If this circumstance, this current events right now, so if the circumstance control you, what and how, so uh, two different statements here. So are the circumstances controlling you? What and how you are focusing on currently is how you've always focused on things. And, and what you focused on. What are you focusing on right now and how are you focusing on it? Bottom line is you're probably doing it the same way you have it with everything else. If you're looking at it in a negative way, if you're looking at the situation as what's wrong with it, what's bad about it, what is it that people are screwing up with, that's how you've looked at everything else. It's just an indicator. So check in to see how am I feeling, what am I focusing on and how am I focusing on it currently. It's an indicator and a self-evaluation for you to be able to evaluate and see how am I doing on staying focused on objectives, on the things that I want to accomplish. I'm not saying ignore what's going on. You've got to be prepared. That would not be wise to completely ignore the current circumstances. Have I been getting prepared? Absolutely. Because it's paramount. It's detrimental to me and my family that we're prepared. But how am I focusing on it? What am I saying around the, 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 the circumstances? What am I thinking? What are my processes, right? During these events, am I looking at the greater opportunities? Am I excited? How we do anything is how we do everything. And, and somebody might say, yeah, but this is different this time. How you focus on it in that negative way and in that pessimistic, judgmental way is how you need to be thinking about this circumstance right now? No, you're letting the circumstance control you. And what you think about, you bring about. So be very, very careful in this time right now. It's going to challenge people. This is like, because they talk about in the movie, The Secret, the bills, the, the past due bills that are showing up. While you've written a template of, I have an abundance of income flowing into my bank account, over $20,000 every week, over $100,000 every month, whatever it is whatever that is for you, over $1,000 every month. And then the bills are piling up and are you talking about them? Are they sitting right there where you can see them? And are you sharing with other people? And are you feeling negative about that? Put the dang things in the drawer. If you can do something about it, do it right now. And if you can't, put it in the drawer and then move on with what you need to move on to make some progress in your life. So uh, Bob Proctor said, if you're in debt, and you want to like get control of your mind, get on a good debt reduction program. Start making progress at chipping away at that debt. Then it allows you to look at something that's negative in a positive light. I'm tackling this thing. I'm moving forward. I'm overpowering it. I'm on a program now that's going to move me in a financial free way. It's going to empower me financially. I'm working towards my financial independence, even though you're in debt. You see how you can shift something like that? You can do that with anything. So hopefully, um, you're framing up a template that's empowering you and other people right now with this vehicle of isogenics. Look, our health. Health is always a priority. Do you see how our products are even more of a priority right now than they've ever been? It hasn't diminished our business. How blessed are we that we have this vehicle that in any scenario, we've got a niche right? We've got a corner. And I put, I put like, we have the corner of the market for sure right now. No, we have all four corners and the sides and the tops and the bottoms. Every dimension of anybody's life right now, we own it. We own it with these products and this environment. So uh, just, it's, I mean, so again, uh, I just want to reiterate this self-evaluation. It's uh, uh, taking an internal survey. Have you abandoned your template? Have you abandoned it? Or is it 
going off three times a day and you're making it a priority. And in between, I know that Digna recorded her own voice with her template and she listens to it as she's going to sleep. And she said, when I wake up at night, I just hit rewind and play it again and drifts off to sleep again. Exact same things that I did. And it hurts your ears. You lay on the pillow the wrong way and your earphones hurt. And you're trying to keep it not too loud so that you're not keeping your spouse up. I've been there. And they fall out and then like, oh, I got to put it back in, you know, after you wake up and you're trying to find your headphone and it's somewhere under a pillow or tucked in the crevice of a blanket. You find it, you put it back in and then you drift off to sleep again with it going. I know the routine and that's what Digna's talking about. That's what she's doing. So, all right. So let's jump into the book. Uh, we ended with uh, uh, the multimillionaires are like, so uh, the startup here. Rich is secured on the competitive plane. That's the, we ended uh, So rich is secured on the competitive plane are never satisfactory and permanent. We can't say that about our vehicle. I mean, you could frame it up to where you could be competitive and uh, monopolize, uh, monopolize and, and you know, that's, that's an attitude, it's a perspective, but it would be pretty hard to have that perspective with our business model. Once you realize, once you understand it, you realize this is more for all, less for none. Um, rich is secured on the competitive plane are never satisfactory and permanent. Man, that's just the exact opposite for what we have right now. We literally have life-saving you know, uh, opportunities to share things with people that are literally going to save their lives. They've been doing that, but now even more so. Remember, if you are to become rich in a scientific and certain way, you must rise entirely out of the competitive thought. You must never think for a moment that the supply is limited. This is stuff that I started to internalize and started to make a part of my philosophy, my self-guiding governing philosophy. You must never think for a moment that the supply is limited. It's never limited. Just as soon as you begin to think that all the money is being cornered and controlled by bankers and others, and that you must exert yourself to get laws passed to stop this process and so on, in that moment, you drop into the competitive mind. Bankers aren't in control. There might be people who have that philosophy that think they are. I just had, I mean, it was a record week in my reentry, record week. And Wall Street is like plummeting. And it was a record week on this, in this, it was a record week for Willie and Digna. While Wall Street is plummeting, they've now done, it's, it's, it's gone to areas it's never gone before. And we've had a record week. Think about that, you guys. Is that a coincidence? Is that an accident? Is that a fluke? Some people aren't, aren't even ever going to be able to hear that scenario. And they're going to be overpowered by the circumstances. We're very blessed that we get to see that right now in action, so contrasted for you to be able to decide how you think about that. How do you think about it that Willie and Digna just had their record week? When there's probably stock market analysts that are metaphorically jumping out of windows. See how you can be empowered based on your thought? I think, therefore I am. And it has nothing to do with anybody else's circumstances or situations. So when you see that bad financial news, your mind automatically goes to, man, this would be a great time to buy a gym, a restaurant, or a bar. If you're ever inclined to, to own something like that, I'm not recommending that, you know, but if, you know, as, as, as Lenny says, all restaurants are for sale. Right now, most restaurants, a, a lot of, there, there's probably in Reno, there's probably 10 restaurants that I could walk into and say, I'll take over your lease if you just give me the restaurant. There, there, are, there are restaurant owners right now that are that desperate because people aren't coming in, okay? And so when you see financial devastation, your mind automatically goes to prosperity thinking. Great time to buy, right? During the Great Depression, you could buy a farm in California for $500, right? The whole thing, lock, stock, and barrel, okay? Unreal. The, the, the opportunity that exists for us is astounding, guys.
you guys, with this thing of self-actualization, so here's a scenario that just played out here in the family. We have 11 people that are now in our house living here. We had to go buy two new bedroom sets. And, uh, you know, I, I always would joke, you know, if you don't want your kids to come back, turn their room into something else. <laughs> <laughs> turn it into a music room, turn it into a gym. You know? And uh, now I'm moving, I've moved that stuff out and moved into two new bedrooms. We have, uh, our daughter just showed up from Kenya. But I was, you know, being able to critically think and see clearly and be able to see the end from the beginning and everything in between. That's what this really does. It helps you to become keen to that. It helps you to perceive things that other people are not perceiving. And it's just that ability to uh, uh, be, uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, well, for lack of being able to come up with the word right now, insight and intuition and, and when deductive, being able to be able to deduct things and, and, and just be able to see things clearly. Like that's how God is, right? Could see the end from the beginning. And, so here's this scenario that's popped up. Yeah, I'm paying attention. Yeah, I'm getting prepared. And I'm worried, not worried. I'm concerned for the welfare of my family. So I'm, I'm texting them individually. And I'm texting my daughter in Boston. And she's feeling like, ah, oh, this isn't that bad, you know. And we just moved into a new apartment. It's a huge rent. And uh, we just got new jobs. And, uh, you know, the, we're, we're set. And we think we'll just ride out the storm here. Maybe if you could send some extra money and, and we'll get the the goods that we need. Okay. Yeah. There's the money. So I sent the money and, uh, but I'm still knowing they need to be here that it would be best if they could be here. If we could all just like conquer together for get through this and last minute decided to come last minute. And, uh, and, and once they decided it was like, well, let's put it off until so-and-so whatever. And you know, a week or whatever. And I'm like, no, I think sooner is better. And, and so you can see how they would be in their mind, you know, what's going on on their end. And, and so I'm just dripping. I'm dripping just like we would with uh, prospects. Dripping, dripping, dripping. Made the decision to come. And the next day, they found out that the restaurants that they work at closed. Here they were thinking they have this, uh, this, uh, this job that they need to, you know, to get through. And, and the next day, they got here, they just got a text, hey, the restaurant's closed, that they had jobs at. I mean, coincidence, being able to see critically, being able to be stay calm, stay focused. And I've, I've focused on my family being here. So, so Wallace Waddle said, the moment you drop into the competitive mind and your power to cause creation is gone for the time being. Right. So when I was when I was up at the Squaw Valley, I talked to a, a lady at a hotel. The hotel the hotel's laying everybody off. Her boyfriend had to gather the lift attendants. He's the chief uh, lifty, they call him. And he has to tell 50 of them not to come back to work on Sunday. That's it. You're done. OK. And these guys are living hand to mouth. Lifties don't make any money. Right. They're 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 jammed uh, five to a room. And uh, they're living hand to mouth on, on top ramen, right? Okay. So at that point, when that guy hears, don't come back tomorrow, if he drops into, oh, there's no jobs, you know, the competitive mind will tell you there's only so many jobs to go around, right? Okay. Now, I would think if I were a lifty, man, construction is booming in Reno. I'm going to go, I'm going to go down to Reno now. I can't ski. And I'm, I'm, I know how to hang sheetrock. I'm going to call all the sheetrock guys. They're all out of work or, or, or all, or they, they can't find employees, right? I know that because I come from a construction background. So I can either choose the creative mind or I can choose the competitive mind. When I see the coronavirus on TV, I can choose the competitive mind, which says, oh, everybody's getting sick. I'm going to get sick too, right? That's just what's going to happen. Or I can go into the creative mind and think, gosh, you know, there's an unlimited potential for people who can help build the immune system. And it's your, it's your personal choice, guys. And you hear Digna making that choice. You hear Digna making that choice and saying, no, no, no not going to listen to the news. I'm going to, I'm going to keep in my head. I'm going to stay in the game. 
okay? So we have the Zoom tonight, right? Yes. What's your template? How's your template correlating with our Zoom tonight that we have? You know, 6.30 Mountain Time, 5.30 California Time. Uh, what is that, uh, 6.37 or 8.30 Eastern Time? Okay, what, what, how's your template doing for what's going on tonight? So yeah, exactly like it says here. So um, remember, if you are to become rich in a scientific and certain way, you must rise entirely out of the competitive thought. You must never think for a moment that the supply is limited. Just as soon as you begin to think that all the money is being cornered and controlled by bankers and others, and that you must exert yourself to get laws passed to stop this process and so on, in that moment, you drop into the competitive mind. You're all of a sudden letting the outer environment dictate to you how to think and feel and act and behave. Do you see that? And it's as on the inside, so on the outside, so people invert that. Have you ever noticed that? That people invert things the way they should be? I mean, look at people's health. The majority of people have inverted the principles of health. The majority of people have inverted the principles of wealth. But those are just results. Those are, circum those are results. What we're really talking about is a bigger thing here, self-actualization and you becoming a, a very powerful creator. And that's gonna go with you for eternity. I can't wait. I know that someday I'm gonna be creating beaches and landscapes. There's no question in my mind that that's what's ahead. That's a long ways off, but I'm moving towards it. I'm bridging the gap and becoming that individual that someday will be creating animals. Who knows, right, what the possibilities are. But I, I know I'm gonna be able to create some pretty awesome beaches with some pretty awesome waves. Um, in that moment, you drop into the competitive mind. So again, that's what, this is our practice. This is our schooling ground. And none of it's wasted for anybody, no matter what they experience. The, you can't take away the experiences. You're not gonna be able to take away the contrast, not even from somebody who's homeless living on a bench. Their life has meaning and value to it. There's never any time. God doesn't create meaningless lives. We may not understand that. There may be people who do not understand that in this lifetime, but they will come to understand that never at any time was there not value built into every single individual's lives, no matter what their experience was. Not one drop of it was wasted. So um, let's see, you drop, okay. So in that moment, you drop into the competitive mind and your power to cause creation is gone for the time being. It's never gone, you're still creating. You just relinquished it to something else. You gave it up, you forfeited it, and, but it's never gone. And what is worse, you will probably arrest the creative movements you have already instituted. That's why those who have will continue to have more, and those who have not will have that which they've had, even that will be taken away. Why? Because they've not learned how to think about things in the positive way, in the scientific way. Let me read that again. You will probably arrest the creative moments you already have instituted. Isn't that like, I mean, that's exactly what we're talking about here. What time is it? Nine o'clock? Okay, so couple minutes here. Um, I just want to finish up on this thought. That goes along with that scripture in Matthew, that the, those who have will have more. Doesn't that just fit perfectly? You'll probably arrest the creative movements. Know that there are countless millions of dollars worth of gold in the mountains of the earth, not yet brought to light. When I read that, I, I translated gold in the mountains to healthy people building an organization. Because remember, I got this book about, mm, Lenny handed it to me, it was probably the first month of being in isogenics, right around there, right around that time. It was within the first month or so, I can't exactly remember that, I started reading this. And I read the whole book in one night and then I've been reading it for 15 years now. So I translated the gold in the mountain. Some people don't have the ability to do that. Translate, well, I'm not, I'm not gonna be a miner. I don't, it's not gold that I'm after. You have to translate that. You have to like shift it into how does that apply to you? He can't sit there and talk about every single person's personal interest and desires and goals that they have. He's using a common thing that we have to translate into our personal goal. What's your personal goal? To me, as I was reading this, and it still is today, it's just grown and expanded. 
a business, an isogenics business that has impact in people's lives, but yet it's setting me and my family free simultaneously. It's a win-win. So worth of gold in the mountain of the earth, not yet brought to light. And know that if there were not, more would be created from the thinking substance. Digna and Willie are going to meet with somebody right now. More has been created because they're demanding it to be created. She's doing the template three times a day. They're making it a priority and they're making the template a priority with their team. Not everybody's gonna answer that call, but if you have a few people doing it, just a few, even if you're just doing it, you'll attract new people if there's nobody that wants to do it on your team. You'll attract that. So more would be created from the thinking stuff substance to supply your needs. The needs can never go unmet. How cruel of a trickery would that be for God to allow you to have desires that will never have the possibility of being fulfilled? It can't happen, but you've got to do your part. You've got to do your part. Know that the money you need will come, even if it is necessary for a thousand men to be led to the discovery of new gold mines tomorrow. I, this is the stuff that started to become my, my philosophy. That, that's telling me right there, if the people aren't there and the people that will lead you to the people aren't there, they will be created. Spider web with all of the different turns in it, that once you go around one 90 degree turn, you can't see beyond it. But those, that web keeps making all of these different intricate turns and, 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 and you know, designs and, that you are out of your vision if you're standing in one particular place. But if you can stand back and look at the web and see the web from the God eye view, you can see that all of those turns are interrelated and that's gonna connect you to somebody over here. You get to see instead of how most people walk around is walking on the spider web and they can't see after the right turn. But when you understand these principles, you're no longer walking on the web, you're looking from the web from above and you're seeing all of the turns and turns that you didn't even know existed behind you, in front of you, to the side of you. And that's what this helps you to see. Uh, know that the money you need will come even if necessary for a thousand men. What about 10,000? Or what about two or three people that are going to connect you to that person that you're looking for? Maybe it's not Digna's uh, relative. Maybe it's the dentist. Maybe it's the dentist's patient. Maybe it's the dentist's patient's next door neighbor. You don't know, but you just know that you know you have this level of certainty because you're doing your part. Don't wonder how it's going to happen. There's no way your finite mind could see it. As you're moving forward, you are walking on the spider web in your daily methods of operation. But you're also, while you're walking on the spider web, you have the God's eye view. And you know that it's just a matter of time before that connection that you could see 18 turns away is gonna be where it happens. So you're walking with one foot in heaven and one foot on the earth. Most people are walking with both feet firmly planted in the earth. And they give up the spiritual gift that they've been given, their birthright. Powerful stuff, right? So that's how it works, but you gotta do your part, you gotta maintain the course, you gotta stay focused, keep the objective in the forefront of your mind, always. Guard your focus with your life, let the, that, that vigilant guard at the gate be ever vigilant, ever awake, watching what's coming in, watching what's going out, because both of them matter. All right, you guys, uh, let's open this up. Malcolm, can you stop the screen share? And let's open this up to, uh, I know we just have a couple minutes here. Um, anybody want to share anything? Does that make sense? Awesome. Uh, go, go ahead, Jana. You should be able to unmute your, did you want to talk? Oh, okay. By the way, yeah, if you're- It makes um, perfect sense. <laughs> anybody else you're want to say anything? If you're from Nevada, uh, the casinos are talking about shutting down across the country. So, uh, oh, that's going to happen. That's a done deal. It's going to, if it hasn't happened yet, it, it's going to happen. So, where do, if you call one of these people that 
and ask them, do you have a plan for making money from home? Okay, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> you know? I mean, I mean, it's such an opportunity. I cannot wait to get on the phone, Dave. Yeah, get them on the Zoom tonight because we'll bring that up. I mean, we're going to talk about the elephant that's in the middle of the room. We'll go through the forever pack like we always do. But I'm going to talk about how we're doing Zooms. We're going to be announcing two Zooms a day, one on business and one on the forever pack and the immune system. And Dave, you mentioned something in the very, very beginning, and I wrote it down. And this is why we're on these calls. There's been a million pearls of wisdom on this call. The one that I wrote down this morning was the first thing you said, and it's really how to counter an objection. And you said, Are upset? what if someone said, hey, you're just trying to sell me something? And what you said was, yeah, we're all selling something. And just bringing that reality back to people. Everybody has an, about an agenda, which is what that came from. Everybody has an agenda. Someone wants to, to convert you, you know, philosophically. They want to convert you politically. They want to convert you to their mindset of what it is uh, they're thinking about. They want, to, they want to convert you to their favorite restaurant. We are selling something. We're selling health and opportunity. We should be very, very proud of it. And... Uh, you muted out, John. For some reason, you muted out. There we go. Uh, you muted out for the last two sentences. I don't know how you got muted, but you oh, said you're all selling I something. I had a call coming in. Come in, sorry. Oh. Yeah, everyone's selling something, and we are too. And we should be proud of it. We should be standing up. We have a lot of grace, obviously, because of the timing of the situation. But you know, it's okay to be selling health. It's okay to be selling opportunity. At least us, our stuff's positive and it'll get you get a lot done. That's all I want to say. Thanks for mentioning yeah. that. Okay. You know, and, and you can add to that, depending on who you're talking to. Look, everybody's a spiritual being. They're going to resonate with something of truth, right? So yeah, we're selling something. And the deeper you look into it, the more you'll realize how in harmony we are with the divine on this. Right? Thank and you. you. Frame that up in different ways, you guys. You know, I've got a purpose that I know I'm on God's errand. I'm, a, I'm like, I've said it many times in presentations, public presentations. I feel like Paul, the apostle. I am on a crusade. So, uh, you know, you can frame that up in any way that you want to connect with somebody and just give them something to think about, something truly of meaning to digest. Most people are digesting things that don't matter. Do you notice how things all of a sudden shift? And what matters comes to the forefront in times like this. Hey, it's business as usual for me. Nothing's really shifted because I've already been in alignment with things that are of eternal worth, things that are a foundation. And when the winds come and the rains descend, it doesn't get washed away. My life and the things that I've been doing have not been washed away. In fact, it's given it more reason, more of what I've been doing. Because I know the things that are important. I played out that in my mind. I critically thought I've deducted the end from the beginning. And I've made sure that I've made the priorities and the things that are most important at the forefront in my life and turned those into daily methods of operation. My life really hasn't changed in what my message is and what's important to me. And, you know, again, that's something for people to chew on, something to think about. Look, we're going to make it through this. A lot. Of, there's going to be casualties. Absolutely, there's going to be casualties. That's the reality of this. But the vast majority of us are going to make it through. Look, they're talking the CDC or whoever that is. They're talking about schools being out for 12 months. What are you going to be doing with your time for 12 months? Well, isn't the vision of the sickness industry that everybody gets sick? Honestly, Dave, think about it. Think about oh, it. The pharmaceuticals but, are like, they're like, woo, business just took a turn for upturn, yeah. right? No, no, no. Yeah, we're gonna sell we're gonna sell ventilators and 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 we're gonna sell uh, what else are we gonna sell? Uh antibiotics from China and uh and what else are we gonna sell? You know, they're they're seeing the opportunity in this. Why can't we see the opportunity in building people's immune system? in a healthy way using plants. Plants don't have side effects, Dave. Antibiotics have side effects, trust me, <laughs> they do, all right? Oh, get, get your D3, get your vitamin C, get your shake, get your right. isogenesis, 
Uh, Angela, let's finish up with you and then uh, we'll, uh, we'll adjourn for the day. Okay, well, uh, thank you and hello and what a great call. Uh, looking forward to uh, uh, grabbing a, a time where we can talk with uh, Malcolm and Eric as well and, and work on the template with our newbie Eric Plot and also Claire Plot, new consultants on, on my team. Very excited. Uh, I, took, uh, I took some pic pictures yesterday of Zombieland uh, in Nevada and the main, uh, you know, bread, whatever, but all of the over-the-counter cold medicine was just gone in those aisles. And I thought to myself, my God, these people should be in uh, boosting their immune systems, not sticking these chemicals into their body. Um, so I, I watched that fear-based mentality and how it, uh, how it really, you know, it's, it is that uh, uh, motivator for people to purchase. Let's shift that into health, immunity, wellness, opportunity, hope, joy. I, I've been on the phone all weekend telling people that I, I just feel so grateful that I do have a home-based business with amazing vision, amazing vision. I feel fantastic. I feel a little bit trying to creep in and I know that my immune system is so, uh, it's just, it's like, it's like this rock solid infrastructure. So excited about it. So uh, I, I'm, I am pumped. I'm ready to, I'm, I'm just, I'm ready to make this even more my entire mindset. Like I can see this entire week just being, hey, information, information. Don't you want your immune system to be rock solid right now? And wouldn't you love to work from home while doing it? It's, it's, it's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. And thank you very much for this amazing call, Malcolm uh, and, and Dave and uh, this whole team. And Willie, congratulations, Digna. It's amazing. Uh, and uh, Eric Plot, Claire Plot, and, uh, and I are ready to rock this business. Uh, very, very today. <laughs> so right, thank you. Sorry, today now, I have a clock in our room in our uh, recording studio. It was a recording studio. Now it's a bedroom. Um, it says for each hour, it says now, 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 now. And uh, so that's it. What are we gonna do with now? Okay. All right. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for uh, all of your contributions and uh, for your love, support, and your unity as one. We can accomplish so much. With that, we'll uh, see you uh, tonight on the Zoom. Bye, Thanks, everyone. Steve. Thanks, Dave. Bye, everybody. Thank you.